In this video, I'm going to show you how to create, edit, and delete a person. So if you tap on the People's tab down at the bottom, you'll see a list of uh, people that have been created so far in the app. Um, these two people I didn't create uh, manually um, because they were part of a Facebook group. Um, the app was able to create them automatically for me. So let's go ahead and add a new person. So I can tap on the plus icon in the top right. And then I will create um, Zachary Taylor. And I'll go ahead and set his email. So Zach at home.com. Again, it's not a e real email, so don't try to email that. Um, I could um, tap on the profile photo to select a photo just like that. Um, I don't want to select one for him, so um, I'm done with this, so I'll save it. So now um, Zach has been added. Um, and then if I want to go back in and edit him, I can select his profile and just hit edit um, and change any of those fields. So very, very standard stuff here. Um, what I wanted to show is if you look at um, my profile, you can see that Facebook has actually brought over my email address, um, which I personally allow it to share. Um, you know, users may not allow that. Um, so you may not see anything here, um, but if they do, um, it'll be added to the app for you automatically. You can just tap on that email address and that will actually allow you to um, email that person directly. Also, if we scroll down here, you will see the parties that this person has is hosting or has hosted um, and the parties that they um, either participated or are participating in. Um, so and by tapping on any of these, you will jump directly to them, uh, to that party. So very, very simple. I could also delete this person, um, but I won't do that yet. Um, also, if they were created from Facebook, um, they may have changed their profile photo and maybe you want it updated in the app. Um, the app does not automatically try to update profile photos um, because I don't want to add uh, undue burden on your your uh, bandwidth or anything like that so this is a photo that was pulled when this account was um, created on the device so if I hit edit um, I can tap to edit that photo and then I can select Facebook and it will automatically refresh that photo so if you find a need to do that in the future this is where that is um, so then finally um, I will show you uh, on Zach's if I want to delete him tap delete um, sure I want to delete it um, let's go ahead and say yes delete and so now that person's gone um, I would not delete anyone that's a part of a party um, just because the the data might get a little little odd I wouldn't recommend it um, if you if you don't care if it's a old an older party um, or one that you're not going to look into anymore then you could go ahead and uh, get you know delete them um, I would just recommend not deleting anyone unless you absolutely have to um, the the app itself can store millions and millions of people um, without any problems and of course you have a search field right there if you start to have too many people and, and really need to filter through um, to find them so that's it thank you